is teams like the Heretics, like teams that they've always had a, a tough matchup against. So I think we're in for an exciting one. Nonetheless, Alfia already up for contact. He's going to be under pressure immediately and actually doesn't get out of there. I thought he might have just scraped it. Now a few bullets pursued him through the wall. Three players though still here. Big stack out of Fnatic. They've made the right call this time. KC flood in. Martin and Magnum caught off guard. And now they're realizing there's a lot more guns here than they thought. Fnatic just about able to escape with Durka's life. Three HP. As he goes for the teleport, Chronicle still sitting here. They have a choice on KC. Who do they want to fight? And it looks like they're deciding on Durka. A brave choice for anyone to make. Two kills already under his belt. And I was going to say he has his nade back, but no, I just don't think he used his nade in the first place. Didn't get a chance to with the all-out combat. They know there's a chance he'll be coming from bathroom or even from mid. Fight Safe plan planted. for spawn, but they're, they're trapped. Last they're sandwiched, but that gives them 1v1 fights. And now, right, doesn't often lose those. All down to Chronicle. Yeah, luckily, with both of them being low, it was... Just who could shoot the quickest. Chronicle, though, in these clutch situations, has been devastating. This map in particular has so much history, so many memories. But he needs to try and isolate one of these fights, having no idea where his opponents currently sit from. Shin already just getting information and <laughs> almost needs him to make a pretty catastrophic mistake. And in the meantime, Narrate on the round. Just going for that jump peek. Ah, it's a bit of a risk, and one that hasn't paid off. The hope here that you wouldn't see KC grouped up outside along, ready for the fight, but the intention was always to take it towards the B side. Boaster, now isolated, having to burn up his flashes, has just one left to work with. And the aggression out of Alfier, having not spotted anybody, decides to go hunting them. That's Shin drop, Smoker down, Thrash. In round three yeah, yeah. is used to no success. Boaster able to pick off one. They know that he's still here. Having dropped Leo as well. There's no way that they don't account for this player who got a kill just moments ago. The swing is good. Tamazi finds it without the help being needed and ends up finding his teammate Magnum too with a snake bite. <laughs> Looks like that could be a bit of a problem because the man standing in the 1v2 is Durka. Close fight first and it's Tamazi. Size yarayacak bir uygulamayı tanıtmak için çok kısa bölüyorum arkadaşlar. Eğer random hesap almak istiyorsanız Valorant'ta güvenilir ve uygun şekilde hesap bin üzerinden alabilirsiniz. Random hesabının bir hafta içerisinde şifresi değişmesi ya da başına bir şey gelmesi halinde bir haftada garanti veriyorlar ve yerine yeni bir hesap verme garantisiyle alabiliyorsunuz. Aynı zamanda VP almak istiyorsanız da piyasadan daha ucuz fiyatlara uygun fiyata hesap bini tercih edebilirsiniz. Aynı zamanda site üzerinde Steam oyunları da var. Şöyle bir sitenin genel tanımını bıraktım. Açıklamaya da linki bıraktım. Tercih edebilirsiniz. İyi seyirler diliyorum. Hoşçakalın. As he with six, choose anyone to have that weapon. It wouldn't be Boaster. No, it's all right. He's going to pee. Oh, in his position. Okay. Yeah, well, you're right. Uh, no success found, Fight but down, at least damage please. done. The assist onto Narrate, as Chronicle claims that. And well, the Guardian can be picked up, perhaps to hold close inside Hookah. Yeah. They're actually going to gamble Rotate off. Now, it's understandable. When you've seen that many players stack up towards B long, the logical thing for KC would go, okay, let's hightail it to the other side of the map. Instead, though, they've called the bluff. I, I, I respect this. They've gone, okay, what are the chances that every single player just stuck around, waited for us to get there, and didn't just go for that immediate rotate? They've realized now. A deep flash up on left. A, revealed nobody. Boaster's flank, reveals nobody. The realization sets upon them that, yeah, this plant has gone down on B. Spike Unlucky. Planted. And not the best weapons to have to retake with again. Some players being trapped inside hookah, stingers in hand. One day. Nice shot by Chronicle, but just the one to be found. Fortunately, as well, all the weaponry has been dropped outside B long. Are they going to be able to get back in? Dark has done well. He actually caught the timing on Martin, and that was left all onto Magnum. 1v3 needed. He's been crispy so far. Needs a little bit more. Needs to deny the diffuser. And now on to just Booster, and he finds all three. A Red Bull clutch from the IGL of KC. Looks like KC are not oh, going to slow the pace of this round straight up and into the fray. In fact, oh my Ooh. God, Martin! Blast packing into elbow. The Chronicle didn't see that one coming. And now you come into a round where Fnatic have rifles. They've invested. They've got an ult yeah. in their back see pocket. Ya. They've got a good chance to fight KC and stop them. And a few seconds later, save. Should we save? Let's save these weapons. Ah. It's it the same as the attack of the last map. Like, when KC truly get rolling, when the confidence is behind them, 
I genuinely think that Martin might be the most disrespectful player in the league in terms of his gameplay. Like, what he does within the server is disgust. Like, to just, you get the opener, you go, okay, 5v4, we should probably chill, play those parts. And he's already through nope. the smoke. Like, no one even got the time to talk before he'd already killed the second player. And that's Chronicle as well. He's bind royalty. Like, <laughs> you don't do that to him. Five and the rest of the alt economy is definitely in the favor of Fnatic. Oh, convincingly. Yeah, they've they've got their orbs farmed up. Good reactive ones as well. Info on Chronicle. Punish on Durka. And the thrash for Leo. Completely halt the push in its tracks. You can see KC are playing this one a little bit slowly. Outside of Bath. A lot of players looking to take that control. But a small little shift up through mid from Tamazi and Shin doubling up. Just tucking into this corner. Oh, there is. If he turns around, I was about to say, it's just almost just a, a game of chicken. Leo again, he tries to do the same, and tomasi has got down to his own snake fight this time. It was a, a, a sacrifice he was willing to make, I guess. Spike Nonetheless, planted. it's come at a much higher cost to the side of Fnatic. The same gambles failing. Boaster, they're blissfully unaware that they could have walked past, and that is, again, if, if you've played against Nats ever, you should have the expectation that he could do that alone. You see that Viper screen up, you need to be more aware. Yeah, 100%. I mean, it's the whole reason it's put down is for that cross. The idea to fight just about early round aggression. It's about the burst of aggression that comes out of this squad. They showed us last round they can slow it down. Now, they're going to have to because Alfier has used the Viper's pit. And the whole idea was to move towards B-Long. So we got to spread out and find another avenue because you ain't pushing through the pit. This is the thing. The rest of Fnatic are not just sitting there. They've already taken full control over towards showers. Here. Already put deep with that tiger as well. So they definitely have information. The only real opening is towards no, Hooker. And, well, Leo's going to try and slow that down as much as humanly possible. Magnum's got to be careful. He's gone through on his own. Nobody else was on the same wavelength there. Tries to hit a timing, ends up being completely blind, and uh, they've just lost a player for little reason, really. I mean, I, yeah, you have to imagine the chaos once that mosh pit goes down. It's a split-second decision, and they didn't make that decision the same way. Little disruption. Shin's left towards the other side of the map while this push is coming through. Chronicle hearing a left. lot of steps. The rotations should be called. In fact, normally, they would have already fully rotated. But Alfier stuck around in this pit. Still on long. One on the side as well with Chronicle following them, pursuing them through the TP to drop the rate. Now they've got to run into Leo and there hasn't been a lot of success, but that's the plan. Alpha Year though is with a weaker weapon down below, picking them off. They dealt with Leo, but his buddy was still alive and the reinforcements came in on. He just decided, I need it. Yeah, I mean, I guess realistically getting it up in there to, to, to be used, your teammates aren't going to be able to follow up on, on it easily either. I think he made the right call this time. A lot of players from Fnatic towards the B site looked like Alpha was thinking about rotating back. They're sticking around for now. KC, not going to commit themselves just yet, at least you would imagine, considering the fact there's still a double stack up on A. You'll have the Viper wall going up, and, well, that's already caused a lot of problems for Fnatic, so understandably, they're going to give it some respect this time using some of their abilities to clear out these angles. I think Chronicle used the Tiger to clear it and ensure nobody was sneaking their way into that position. But eventually, the target will be acquired. It's the B site. Thrash on its way. Good catch. That's got one. Did it catch the player in the corner? It did. Huge value to be found, but they don't know. They oh, don't no. know that Tamazi's here. Him being seized almost helps him out in this sense. He's forced into a late flank play. The Chronicle shouldn't, wouldn't, couldn't expect. KC dominating the site now. Just Leo to uproot. But that's a big task for any man. Two kills already, another found, and just one man left down in the classic, and he'll find it! A sensational play by Leo to keep... Hold a little bit of deeper control, but they are going a lot quicker, or at least they plan to. And actually, this time, the hero of the last round is dead immediately. That's a first death for Leo. Can we mark that down? He actually had one in the last map as well, I believe. Or last time they played this too, shit. Hello! Well, that was a risk that has not quite paid off. They didn't think that Durka was still around here, that anyone from Fnatic would be, but now they're miles ahead. The plans will be secured. There's no denying it. The Viper's pit extending out just in time to catch Chronicle. Magnum's reposition gets him way out of the way. The thrash from downtown. 
Not going to be finding anything, but at least clearing this space for Magnum to now reside inside of. KC only have the one-man advantage. Magnum and Martin are both very low. This is still a very winnable round for the side of Fnatic. They decided to back out. Yeah. I mean, the Viper's Pit is really what seals the deal in a lot of these scenarios, and I can't blame them for making that call. Yeah, at this stage, you hands on the reins for KC. Looking for another 9-3 scoreline, one that Fnatic, at least up against Na'Vi, couldn't come back from. I won't insult yeah. KC by comparing them to Koi. I think for this defensive side, this is this is where I expect they need to show up. Three oh is often enough, and maybe it'll have to be beautiful opening oh, pick. Magnum. Leo's grabbed one somehow with the mosh pit. He's still alive. Up close and still fighting. Dropped Spike eventually, but the damage is done. He's Spike. made it competitive, doable, but difficult. <laughs> it seems like Magnum goes from having the best round to Spike the weirdest planted. round every single time. It's, it's like a, a two-face, a flip of a coin. Launching smoke. And this retake's not going to be easy. You've got one weapon only valuable at close range, and the other only valuable at long. Luckily, that's already started fairly well. Martin, though, is back with a vengeance, leaving Durka with everything still to do. He had a full yeah, belt so. of utility, but uh, yeah, it's not worth throwing the operator into the wind. It is a fantastic round again for Martin. How unhinged is Martin? Look at, what, look at the decision-making here. Magnum on the other side for KC. He's lights out. Oh, Dirk is gone. This. Operator in hand. This is an ambitious play, and he needs his teammates. Okay. Maybe he doesn't need his teammates. He doesn't need anyone. Dirk is doing it by himself. Free kill on the Martin. That was the wide swing. And now Magnum's trapped in the corner. Yeah, the problem is the rest of the team have gone in the other direction. Like, they have managed to get those opening kills, and especially with some of the weaker weaponry. I'd say it might allow for an upgrade. Unfortunately, the man who needs an upgrade the most yeah. is Bolster. And the other players are now so far away. Leo does still have that thrash available, but they've got so many angles still to clear. They're going to be able to at least reduce some of the places they need to spot. The fight is going to work out again for Durka. This is looking like his round. Oh, it's all down to timing the rate. He didn't get spotted. I, I, I don't think they realized he was here, otherwise they would have sent Thrash back in the other direction. He's done up close. Good for one, but the judge is there. The upgrade wasn't needed, and they caught Shin far, far away. He stands almost no chance. The teleport through is expected. Ready was Leo. Four rounds at the end of the half. Three is often enough for here in a pretty decent position. Up against most teams, at least. Paranoia here for Shin. A lot of players towards Bath. Alpha's snake bite is good. No escape from Martin. The opening pick goes their way, but the fight back shirt is traded out, at least. Uh, allows out oh, almost a raid boss scenario as a ghost and shields. Magnum, oh, yeah. the okay, it looked like Boaster was sending a fake out. <laughs> Just running straight towards his opponent, but he'll win the fight anyway. And puts it into a two versus four scenario. This pistol almost looking guaranteed. I think it definitely is now, Tamazi. Left 1v4, you need some pretty drastic mistakes from the remaining players of Fnatic, and well, even though a headshot will be hit, it's not going to be the kill. When it comes to playing from behind, attack sides looked good for them. Scout destroyed. Pretty much no matter what, unless they're up against Na'Vi. Well, yeah, 10 rounds versus Koi. That was when they made that comeback. And Koi have been, to be honest, about a pretty decent bind team. That's been one of the maps that I think they've actually been quite enjoyable to watch. It was a 15-13 overtime loss to KC on this very map. Plant denied. Magnum will be able to pick up the kill this time. Classic clearly better. And you can see that the main goal here for KC is just to counter with as much as utility as possible. However, for Fnatic, they're just going to decide to back out of there. And unfortunately, they can't really chase at pace without giving the game away. Molly! Another position where these retakes are just a little bit too difficult when you're coming out of Hookah, having to drop down. Fnatic have a lot of control. Yeah. Moving into fight spawn, long range duels with rifles. Doesn't get any better than that. Gotta leave another flash to initiate Alpha Year. Taking them both. Get out of my way. <laughs> At this point now, KC, yeah, three players about to drop out. I don't know that one's gonna work. Magnum maybe worth Cover dying for the orb. Out. He's getting close to ulti. There's still quite a bit away, but his ulti's valuable. Same thing for Martin, just the one on the board. But I could see them going down to the spike, making that call. Magnum is going to go for it. He's jumping out. No success. 
The other two just a fall to spike after round six secured for Fnatic, a two round gap. The side tracks, and more importantly, Durka has got a judge. He is about to blast back into someone's Hot face. Ah, oh, you know it. <laughs> predicted from the get go, but with the judge in hand, even more reason for it. Dodging the initial utility. Dizzy, paranoia thrown out by the side of KC, and now Dirk is thrown out by the side of FNC. They make their way in towards Lamps. Boombot covering on the up close fight. Judge is dangerous. And now they can't really retake that control. Not with this man lurking around. The side itself has been seized. And shot out of Chronicle is absolutely clean. Magnum didn't stand a chance. And that off angle is one they very much needed. This will allow them to get the plans with Chronicle's flash going through. In fact, I, they're looking to fight. They, they didn't send the wingman out to plan. They sent him out to find some players, some targets. And those targets were on their back. Chronicle with three kills. Solo bath controller, my goodness. Looks more than likely at this stage. Fnatic on that attack side, ever vigilant, ever deadly. Someone on KC needs to put a spanner in the works. Yeah, but I mean, just look at the buy. Three stingers and pistols. Poison's off. It's a tough one to find any value with. Maybe Leo's giving them an opportunity. Playing up close. The spam battles leave Narrate very right low, there. down to 50 HP. Flash through, but Narrate still standing. Good to at least drop one. Problem is, you can't expect that from every engagement here. Those weaker weapons, not gonna have an easy time unless they can catch them off guard. The three-man flank underway from KC. A long flank sent out from Martin, but the problem is Tamazi is alone. It's not a spot they're likely to push, but as soon as he tries to retake some, some ground, some information, Dirk is gonna be there to challenge him. Good connection to start with, Alpha low, but there's Dirk dropping Tamazi. Now everybody's coming from the back, which is spotted out, but Boaster switches to the knife at the worst possible moment. Still not looking doable though. Alpha's low, but they've got the time on their side. Yeah, the one thing is the rifle. It got retrieved for Martin. That's Last at least something standing. a bit more dangerous, but Durka puts him in the dirt before any more havoc can be caused. Fnatic now stabilizing around that for a moment looked dangerous. And for Shin, the only plan is to just try and get the gun and escape. Nothing more that can really be hoped for. In fact, he may end up just going down to this spike after all. Got the gun, but he should just be able to get out of there. He's good, he's good. Eight to eight. This is what we feared. Fnatic come through, burst of energy, equalize things. Foot Not quite as high as anyone else, but no flash either. It doesn't seem like they plan to go in that direction. Now, the, the problem here is that Magnum is desperately alone. There is nobody even remotely close to Flash. I don't think it actually Ooh, went no. deep enough to catch anyone. And so this has actually sold the complete wrong read. The rest of the team are not going to move because Magnum is yet to find that information. Obviously, with no recharging Flashes, he's going to have to basically just play contact at this point. The site's going to almost be completely given up, just hoping for a miracle shot. And Alpha... Well, he's not quite going to catch them. He doesn't know Tabazi is there. That's a little unlucky. Well, his team have just been saved by Tamazi. The nade that narrates not afraid to push through might give him an angle, but players have already pushed in towards the elbow. Wingman's on site with a free plant and four-man elbow push after. There's no way you expect this. Aggression out of Durka. Thrash on his way around. Magnum clearing the site. Wondering where those... What the hell was that? Durka! It looked like he was speed running it. Playing a neon, but somehow hitting the headshot. Narrate 1v2. Has a buddy to defuse for him, just needs to defend it long enough, but the shots don't land. Fnatic have come. I think played out a bit more chaotically than what we're seeing here. It was one sided halves, dominant early fights that defined the round that sent players to go and save seconds in. This time it's been much more push and pull, much more of the mind games in play and the battles. They've always delivered. Even if KC go down on this defensive side, they're taking a few with them. This time might be different. Showstopper to entry. Players to be spotted. Nice position out of Durka. Predicts it perfectly, eliminating Tamazi, opening the A site completely with the kills that followed, or that it followed. Spike planted. Now Magnum and Shin with it all to do. And they found Alpha. Okay, good start. That's an opportunity. The thing is, though, the rest of Fnatic immediately fall back into passive positions. Seekers is available for Magnum, but I don't know if he's going to want to give away the entire game for himself. Already, 
Darker. They're going to try and just isolate him. No, it seems like Magnum's going to take that one versus one. The timing couldn't be worse, but Darker still wins the fight. And now Shin, no chance. Nade placed onto the spike. Make sure that no one can get anywhere near it. Molotov there as well. There isn't even the time to get even close. Fnatic closed this one out. Ten. Fnatic, though, have had time to talk to Almer and Mini as well. So it's definitely value there. And it looks like they're going to try and sell an early ruse with already sending in quite a bit of utility towards that B side. You could look at the defense. They almost fully rotated off just that little bit of utility. Straight off a pause as well. That decision is going to haunt them. Fnatic have taken the space. But it looks like they've gotten here just in time. They'll be behind the smokes, but with the showstopper to play with, that push is slowed down, staggered slightly. Steps heard, nice connection. That's Alfier down and out. Viper Utility no longer to play with. Durka out of the round. And a crazy adjustment from the right. KC looked like they'd made the wrong read, the wrong play, but they got right back in it on time. Great course correction. Chronicles lurk has missed Tamazi. He's just managed to thread the needle right up behind, and in uh -oh. fact, that is going to be a damning sentence for Leo, One who shouldn't remaining. expect him. Although I think I heard a bullet leave his gun. He, he, he got his gun out just in time. <laughs> At least the shot didn't land. Chronicle has thread the needle, but... Well, this will be a 1v5 left. for the ages. We've not seen many. There's one man in the server who's done it on this map, and he currently has 6 HP. With 20 seconds left. The thing is, the economy of Fnatic is booming to a point where it's actually better for Chronicle to just do as much damage as possible. One Magnum less. will go down for free. 10 seconds left. But nobody else is looking to give anything. Shin just playing this one nice and safe. I like it. Don't allow Chronicle to take any more guns out of your hands. And there's nobody even remotely peeking on this one. Casey. Fnatic taking a slow approach. Watching for aggression on A. Doing much the same on B. This is somewhere that individuals will be leaned on Towards to find their kills if KC do overextend. And we can see that that aggression has come down on mid, but it's Martin tucked in a close corner. And to be honest, every time I've seen Martin in a position like that, he gets at least two. Oh, the play doesn't seem to be in that direction for now. Again, though, for KC, they might be a little bit hesitant just with how the last rounds have been played. ready. Orb taken. Most of may just opt to try and TP back. Viper's pit has been used immediately by Casey. This time, not willing, and that might have seen them. The Tiger going through the TP, it has, it definitely has. That's the information that will hold players within the site. In fact, you can even start to see a rotation out from Magnum to try and get in to help. A brave play to try spam through with the Vandal. Martin won't catch him. Flash close. Shin in a little bit of trouble. Paranoia used. Shrouded step for out. Yeah, he's clean, but he's straight into the fire. Manages to make it out. Standing on the other side of this orbital strike, but he's caught immediately. Alfier dropped inside the pit. For Martin. This is have an opportunity to follow up until he goes to the back site and sees Chronicle. Thought he was gonna get caught off guard. The spike's gone to B, it should be the plant. And caught off guard or not, Martin will drop. Plan to come through. No denial of it just yet. And in a 2v2, this post plan position from Magnum could be everything. I don't think they'll expect him to already be here. The steps are heard from Tamazi making his way through Hookah. It's just a question of whether Leo will turn this angle. No, he was watching it the whole time. Even got a little spoiler with the barrel coming around. Just to Mazzy left. Defuse to be had. Orb to work with, though. Best play might just be to try to stick it inside. And that's not what he's going for. Instead, trying to bait them out. They're going to have to swing this to spam. It looks like they don't believe he's sticking it. One kill for Tamazi. Still so much time to run down. Boasters played this perfectly. Well handled. They didn't even know he was there. Doesn't look like Martin will take a fight, but he is shoulder peeking it. Oh, a little wider than that. We'd seen that result before the snake bite even took him down in one of the rounds. Nade up and over. It doesn't slow them down. But Boaster actually runs straight through the nade, trying to pursue Shin on the back of the thrash, but a player close not expected. Narek does well to pull it back into their favor, and he does it again. There's no stopping this man. 85 HP in the thrash online. It's going through. It's straight towards these players. He heard them stepping away, and they run right into the waiting arms of Magnum. Only Chronicle, one versus three, to close this round out. He's spotted now as well. They know exactly where he is. The flash good, but he drops it out of the sky. Repositions, catches two, and an idea of the last player flashes perfect, and he's won!
got it. Expert positioning, expert precision, and a 12th round for Fnatic on the back of a sensational play. I said it. This man has history on this map. This man is a legend of this map. And put him in that spot, put three players in front of him. And Chronicle knocks them all down. Narei did what he could. Oh, he tried. A real fight. Magnum as well. With a double up after they were forced into his position. But it's this double. And then just winning that. But it wasn't enough. Mosh pit up and over. Denying the exit. Tiger to lock the right in. There's no follow up on it just yet. Whoops. Martin didn't want to go jumping again. And he still managed to get the boom bot up and over. Still, the information is the same. Push up by Magnum is good. And he's caught Boaster. That's their way back. Their access to the B site now denied. They might just have to tunnel vision forward straight into the waiting arms of Martin yet again. He's not finding the first. And now that they're already past, they expect Shin. Three quick kills. The Fnatic are on the cusp of victory. Magnum's only got 20 HP and they know he's coming behind. The Seekers lock in that info. Alpha even Spike stepping planted. past his wall. The little gap just enough to reposition. And with Tamazi in spawn, this one looks done. Magnum's gonna go down. There's nothing more he could be doing.